book club is about Tom Jones by Henry Fielding. Yeah. Shocking! I scarcely know of a more corrupt work, says Dr. Giant, Dr. Samuel Johnson. This is undoubtedly the most famous 18th century English novel of them all. Henry Fielding's Whoa. lusty, bawdy, picaresque. Picturesque? No. Wow. <laughs> oh. Yep, she's right. Picaresque. Like Pixar the movies. <laughs> Something to say. Um, yeah. Henry Fielding's lusty, bawdy, picaresque story of the adventures, amorous and otherwise, of the roguish foundling Tom Jones. Made into a smash hit film starring Albert Finney as the incorrigible Letcher. <laughs> Tom Jones has captured the imagination of the 20th century as totally as it did the spirit of the 18th. Um, so it starts off in... Now I see why nothing's happened, because it's Henry Fielding. <laughs> I didn't realise he wrote Down in the Screw. Um, it doesn't say what year in the first two pages, but it um, starts off in A year, mm -hmm. with the birth of our hero, Tom Jones. Um, who, this character in this book, Tom Jones, is actually who Tom Jones' famous Welsh musician got his stage name off because he thought Tom Jones in the book, everyone loves Tom Jones the book character. Uh, like everyone How loves How wrong me. he was <laughs> on both accounts. <laughs> I feel that it's quite similar between the two. Yeah, no, I'd, I'd, yeah, I'd have to agree. So anyway, Tom Jones gets born and that's the start of that book. <laughs> And then um, he gets born and he gets put in Mr. Allworthy's bed. He gets abandoned and then Mr. Allworthy comes in after travelling for a very long day and he's like, Oh my lord, there's a baby in my bed. And so he calls the maid who's like, but the maid is like, Oh no, my lord will be in a nightshirt. I won't come in, I'll give him a few minutes to get changed so that he can be discreet. And then she comes in and she's like, My lord. I mean, sorry, my lord, you're still in your nightshirt, I can't look. And he's like, blast it, woman, don't care about my nightshirt. There's a baby in my bed. <laughs> a baby. And, and there was, there was a baby in his bed. <laughs> and that baby's name was Tom Jones. And she was, he was like, what are we going to do? And she was like, did he give birth to the baby? Is that the surprise twist? <laughs> I'm only up to chapter 28. <laughs> we'll look forward to that. <laughs> but, um, so then, yeah, there was the baby in his bed. And then she was, he was like, what are we going to do? And she was like, I'll put it out in the rain. And then he'll be gone by the morning. What, washed away in, like, the uh, nightly probably floods? Probably dead or something. And then he was like, no, we won't put the baby out in the rain. We'll keep the baby till morning, and then we'll see. And so then, they kept the baby till morning, and at breakfast time, he was having breakfast, which is what you do at breakfast time. <laughs> Oddly enough. Yeah. It's crazy Victorians. And then, um, <laughs> so he was having breakfast, and his sister came down, and then because children are like Christmas presents, he goes, Lo and behold, my lovely sister, I have a gift for you. Uh, what? <laughs> Oh. The gift of a baby. The gift of a baby. Worst gift ever. <laughs> to an unwed woman. <laughs> oh, awkward. He's just setting up his sister for failure in life. Yeah. Brutal failure. <laughs> and so then she was like, Oh, thank you, lovely brother. Whose baby is it? And then he was like, I don't know. Mm. Maybe we should find out. And I feel like he talks like a pimp already. <laughs> And so then he was like, well, I'm the judge, ma magistrate. He's like, I'm uh, the magistrate, yep. so I'll find out and everything. And they found out that it was uh, this woman who, actually, I think she's more of a girl at the time. Well, anyway, she didn't have any friends and then she became beautiful. And so then some guy went, well, hey. <laughs> You're really smart. I'll pay for you to have an education and buy you lots of pretty clothes. Why? Because she looked good. Yeah. Ugh. And then, um... Thank you, Henry Fielding. 
And then, surprise, surprise, she has a baby. And then... Wait, so she already has a kid no, 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 her no. brother gave her. No, 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 no. Oh, no, this is... This is the girl who um, oh, was who... Tom Jones's mother. Right, okay, yep, okay. Oh, and so this is how she got prayers with yep. him. Okay. And then um, and she got kicked out of the school and everything because the wife found out about her and the tutor. And then the township didn't like her because she was pretty now. And she'd never <laughs> been pretty before. And then... So Mr Allworthy's like... My child, this is your baby, and you just left it out. That's not very responsible. And she was like, on the contrary, sir. I thought it was most responsible because I thought you would look after him. And then he was like, true, true. <laughs> Loophole. <laughs> well, I won't punish you if you tell me who the father is. And she was like, mm, nah. <laughs> I'll do anything for you, but I won't tell you who the father is. And he was like, well, I won't take the baby if you won't tell me who the father is. Which is weird, because he doesn't seem like the gossiping type. And then... <laughs> and then These rich old men have types. <laughs> and then he was like, oh, okay, I'll take the baby anyway. I won't tell anyone. Rah, 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 rah. But I'll punish you. Oh, no, wait, he wouldn't punish her. Even, yeah, because he was like, oh, you won't tell me the name. But I won't punish you if you won't tell me the name. But oh well, you're being, you're holding your honour and everything, that's good, so I won't punish you, I like that. Inconsistent. Yeah. And so then Tom Jones, oh, then his sister found a hubby and had their own kid. So then Mr. Allworthy was like, well, I'll just take my baby back then. Is this, is the baby <laughs> still a baby at this point? Yeah, I think it's like two. Oh, okay. And then, um... So, the whole thing about this kid is that he wasn't born into good breeding, but... He earned was, it. <laughs> because he grew up with it and everything, he oh, became yeah. more likeable and more genuine than everyone who was born into it and everything. Oh, okay. Because he actually meant it. Is this a nature versus nurture story? Don't know yet. Mm. Nothing's happened, so I can't tell you. Mm. So, sister's got a baby now. Her own baby of her very own womb. And <laughs> very own womb. And, um... And so then these two kids grow up and be friends and everything. Except, everyone always likes Tom Jones better. Because he is better. But, um... But he's nice to the servants. So how come... Wait, is their last name Jones? Or... How no. does he get that name? I don't remember. Uh, that's not important. I don't remember. Well, I'll tell you, well, I haven't, I can't, I don't want to do the spoiler for my review uh, yet. Oh, yeah, okay. Don't want to drop that bomb. Yeah. Um, oh, wait, I think I just worked it out. <laughs> what? Don't worry. You keep going. No, tell me. I want to know. I won't tell you if it's wrong. Oh, right. no. I was just thinking if it's um, a spoiler thing. Wait, did you explain who his father was? Because yeah. I wasn't really listening to that part. <laughs> yeah. Ignore the me then. The tutor, remember? She yeah. got kicked out. Cause... So it was the tutor in the end? Yeah. Okay, cool. And What's his last name? His first name's Ben. Because it starts with if a P. it was Jones, and that would make... No, it starts with a P. Okay. I mean, he wouldn't be able to acknowledge that the child was his anyway. No. So anyway, um... Then... Yeah, so his kids grow up. Tom Jones is nice to the servants. Like, he steals them stuff and gives them stuff and everything. And they go hunting together, and then they go, Oh, but you can't hunt on other people's lands. And he goes, okay. But then the gameskeeper goes, Go into the other guy's lands and, like shoot them birds and he's like okay okay and then um so then he gets a stone talking to and Tom Jones likes girls and he's a ladies man yeah yeah like all the old ladies are like oh oh god he's Mitchell and he's like 16 he's Mitchell <laughs> we were talking about his dad 
And then we were talking about how he's a ladies' man. So he's a ladies' man. And all the old ladies are like, oh, Tom. And, but he has eyes only for one girl. And that is <laughs> a little bit of an everyday racism here. But Black George <laughs> is <laughs> the name of the gr groundskeeper. And he's black. And so Tom Jones likes Black George's daughter. I thought you were going to say Black George. And I thought yeah. it was just like, wow, this took a spin. <laughs> Plot twist. Yeah, the, the one girl, Black George, his <laughs> best friend. <laughs> and then... Man, this really is an everyday racism book. And then he's like, I love Black George's daughter. I don't remember his na her name. And then he catches... Oh, no, no, no. And then he's like... But also like Mr. Weston's daughter. I just like them both. And then and there's then, like Phil Collins, you can't hurry, love play. <laughs> and then um, Mr. Weston's like, oh, Tom Jones, I really like him. He's good at hunting. He can come hunting with me. He can marry my daughter. But then he's like, no, he can't marry my daughter. He's not purebred brawn. Born. Brawn. Sorry, <laughs> like Born meat. and brawn. Yeah. Same thing. And so then Sorry, I just kind of... Jones was like, oh no, he won't let me marry his daughter. Oh, but then he's... Mm. He Getting caught, really hot in here. <laughs> he caught Black George's daughter in bed with someone else mm. too. Oh, so he kind of like doesn't like her so much now? Yeah, he's like, oh, who will I choose? Who will I choose? He's like, I'll choose Black George's daughter. Next. <laughs> he's like, and then the sisters are like, oh, yeah, she's up here. And the mum's like, no, she's not. She's not at home. She's not at home. And then they go upstairs. And then, da da, -da he's in bed with some guy. I can't remember who. I think it's pretty important. And Black then, George? um, <laughs> no, I'd hope not. <laughs> and then oh. he's like, oh, no. Oh well, still got Mr. Weston's daughter. Play in the field. <laughs> and then at church, oh, Mr. Weston's daughter had given Black George's daughter some nice clothes because she didn't have much and she was like, Tom Jones likes her, so she must be nice. So she gave her some nice clothes, but they were like can be down, she didn't want them anymore. And then, um, and then they break out into a bitch fight in the middle of church. As you do. And then, for some reason, they start ripping each other's clothes off. <laughs> it only ever happens in church. Do they start, like, mud wrestling? Is that I where this book's going? This book. <laughs> Pretty much. And then all the town's, like, standing around, like, yelling, like, oh, and everything. And all the guys are like, shut up, shut up, let them fight. <laughs> Pretty much. They need to properly vent their aggression. Please. <laughs> and then... Face. And then they're like, oh no, Black George's daughter is preggers. Check it out. Oh! Wow. And then Tom Jones is like, whoops. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh no, and then he catches her in, go in bed with the other guy, and then he finds out it's not actually his baby. So he's like, oh cool, I don't have to have her anymore. Yeah, okay. I'm out of here. Bail. After Mr. Wester's daughter, and then Mr. Wester's. Oh, and then. Um, Mr. Weston's daughter is like, oh my god, I love Tom so much. And I hate his, like, half-brother kind of person, Mr. Blithel. And then, um, she's talking to her auntie, and she's like, hmm, he's so dreamy, Mr. Allworthy's son. And she's like, oh, you like Mr. Allworthy's son, hey, 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 I'll work something out. And then she accidentally gets engaged to the wrong guy. And she's like, but what? I hate Mr. Bliffle. But His I last love... name itself should have been a dead giveaway. <laughs> but I love Mr. Jones. And Aunt Weston's like, snap out of it, girl. Psh, Mr. Jones is an idiot. Look at his breeding. Non-existent. Mm -hmm. You'll like Mr. Bliffle. And she's like, no, I won't. And then she runs away. And then... Mr. Jones gets kicked out of home for some reason or other. I can't remember what. And he's like, oh well. And he walks off. Ain't <laughs> <laughs> it cool? And then Mr. Weston's daughter is like, 
But I love Tom. I'll follow him to the ends of the earth. And she starts following him. <laughs> to the ends of the earth. <laughs> Did she become a stalker? <laughs> Pretty much. And then he's like staying at a country hotel and he's sleeping with another woman. She walks in. <coughs> that happened a lot. Yeah. <laughs> he gets around. Yeah. Old Tom. Yeah. And then, no, he's young. Apparently he's very pretty. Uh, that would help. Yeah. And then she's like, ah! and she walks off. And then, in the middle of the countryside, she runs into her cousin. <coughs> uh oh. On the side of a road. I see where this is going. I hope this is where this is going. <laughs> and her cousin's like, Oh, Mr. Weston's daughter. <laughs> I don't remember her name. Um, she's like, What a pleasure to see you. Why are you here? And she's like, Oh, you know, Pa's angry with me, so I'm running away. And she's like, Oh, cool. My husband beats me, so I'm running away. <laughs> Never marry an Irishman. <laughs> <laughs> That's the moral of the story so far. Never marry an Irishman. Well. Even is that where he, you're up to? Um, no, not yet. Ooh. Oh my God, even, more. even if he looks like he's got good breeding and is in all the cool parties. Because he's Irish, he will beat you. Because he's Irish, he will beat you. <laughs> We're back to the everyday uh, racism. Yeah. Yep. And then... This guy excels at it. <laughs> so, Mr. Weston's daughter is just... Her plan is to go to London because she doesn't love Tom anymore because he slept with that other girl. Oh! Oh, wait. I'll go back to that story. <laughs> and, yeah, she's going to turn up to this on the doorstep of this lady who was nice to her once and she's just going to say, hey, can I live here? And the lady's going to say, okay. That's and that's what you're up to? No, not yet. Whoa, <laughs> what? And then, um... I thought you said nothing happens. Yeah, I was gonna no. say. Yeah. There's a no, lot of plot lot, twists already. A lot happens, but it's really poorly written, Shame so it seems yeah, like nothing yeah. happens. Yeah, that's Henry Fielding. <laughs> and then, um... And then... Does that count as witty stings? <laughs> <laughs> so then, her cousin's like, Oh, come and stay with me at my house in London. And she's like, oh, okay, thanks, cousin. And then um, she's like, okay, I've had my one night here. I'll go off to the other people who I don't even know, but they'll let me live there. And then um, Tom Jones turns up in London and he's like, miss, 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 can I please see Miss Weston's daughter? And she's like, no, go away. And he's like, okay. <laughs> he's a quitter. So then I came back the next day. She's like, Miss, Miss, can I please see Mr. Weston sort of now? And she's like, this isn't the proper calling time. He's like, okay. So he just waits outside. And then he bribes the doorman. Is he the in. stalker now? Yeah, mm. now he is. Oh. Another twist. <laughs> so he bribes the doorman to let him in. And then he gets in. And then her cousin's just like, ugh, oh, go away. But you're so pretty. Mm. And then he's like, okay, I'll go away. And then her like lady in waiting kind of thing's like, man, Mr. West. Oh no, she says to her lady in waiting, Mr. Weston's servant is a right looker. And she's like, that ain't Mr. Weston's servant. Pretty sure that's Mr. Jones, man. I like your cousin's lover. And she's like, my cousin never told me nothing about no lover. So then she gets really offended and angry at her. And then, back to Tom Jones, um, his barber turned out to be his dad. <laughs> <laughs> but That's the plot twist. No. What a twist. No, but... But wait, there's more. Are you even halfway through yet? The yeah, book I mean? Uh, yeah. Just. Okay. <laughs> but then... <laughs> the book I mean. <laughs> this retelling has oh already gone God. for like 25 minutes. <laughs> Well, it's shorter than the movie, probably. <laughs> probably. <laughs> but then, um, the dad goes, So yeah, wife kicked me out and all because I was your dad. But then turns out I'm not. But you seem like a pretty genuine follow <laughs> fellow. So I just follow you around the countryside and oh give my you God. money, okay? <laughs> Why is everyone following everyone? <laughs> and Tom Jones is like, Okay, if you really want to, but I can't pay you. And he's like, No, 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 that's alright, I'll pay you. <laughs> 
confused. What's this written by M. Night Shyamalan? <laughs> <laughs> Shyamalama. Shamwell. Yeah, M. Night Shamwell. And that's what's happened so far in our chapter 28. Oh my Great. And it says, Giants had natural but not artificial good breeding. Mm. Instead, therefore, of communicating the secret of his lodging to a servant, he acquainted the lady. Oh, yeah, he embarrasses himself at a party. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens in the first 27 chapters. There we go, a minute for each chapter. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay. <gasps> Quick, how many stars does it get so far? So far? Mm, from so far. my opinion. From, from the net. Yeah, yeah, review. I'd give it half a foundling out of five. Whoa. One decapitated foundling. 